Hey everyone, this is Andrew Kisson, Senior Marketing Manager for Zon Dental. We're here with Carl Horrocks, Business Development Manager for 3Shape North America. Carl, recently you, 3Shape, uh, launched the Splint Studio. Can you give everyone a little bit of an overview of what this now includes versus the previous versions of Splint Studio? Yes. Um, so Splint Studio just recently got approved by the FDA, so it's 510K compliant. Um, for any 3Shape customer on 19.3, which is the latest dental system version, they now have access to Splint Studio um, if they have a premium license or a complete restore license. Either of those two make up probably 90% of all 3Shape licenses. So majority of our customers have access to this. Um, what we've done was we rewrote the whole script of how to design a splint in 3Shape. Um, it's quicker, it's easier, it's more automated, um, and it basically gets a de design time down to five to seven minutes for a splint. The, the old version of the splint software was piggybacking off of our appliance designing software, and it was taking labs anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes to design a splint. So we really reduced the, the time, um, and labs are really liking that. And you and 3Shape have been working closely with companies like Keystone Industries and Carbon on um, some of the, the manufacturing side of things, specifically around Keystone's uh, Key Splint Clear Soft for Carbon. How is, in your experience, how is working closely with a materials company and a, a printer company ultimately providing the best opportunities for a dental laboratory? Yeah, so we work very closely with both. Um, and with the 2020 release, their uh, materials and manufacturing process will be included. So it's a turnkey solution for a lab who is using these materials. Uh, we work with these, these companies to get their default of materials, what they feel like is the best success for manufacturing their product. And all that lab tech has to do is choose the specific material, choose a specific output and, um, you know, embedded in those materials, all the, the default settings. So there's, there's a lot less of trying to troubleshoot what's the best fit. We get these directly from the manufacturers. There, there are more and more laboratories upgrading to the 19.3 uh, software um, as we move forward. Uh, it seems like the big buzz has been around copy denture and how great of a software and productivity standpoint that has been for labs. In your, in your opinion, why has copy denture been the, oh my God, we need to upgrade to 19.3 for this? When we came out of this, it kind of caught us a little off guard of how well received the market needed this. Um, we always reach out to our, our customer install base to see how to develop software. And this wasn't on our radar. Um, and we did it just, just to add value to the, the full denture software. Uh, but basically, the majority of a patient getting a denture has an existing denture. They like the fit, they like the look, they like the feel. Uh, and in the analog world, you really can't duplicate that. You're, um, you're doing a best guess to set up a new case that way. Uh, with this new copy denture feature, you're actually scanning in and producing an exact replica of what the patient has already been wearing, liking, fitting. Um, so, so the feedback from labs is, yeah, this is a kind of a game changer in digital dentures. They don't necessarily need to design a denture from scratch. They can use the copy scan feature to help them set up the, the case and manufacture a new denture. 3Shape continues to innovate and features like Copy Denture uh, continue to push the envelope for laboratories and their design time. Do you envision more and more labs, uh, specifically Crown and Bridge labs, getting into either dentures or partials or, or where do you see a Crown and Bridge lab entering the removable space? We definitely see that coming and the interest of a Crown and Bridge fixed lab you know, offering removable indications is, is definitely a buzz um, just at Labs, Lab Day Chicago. Um, what it allows this fixed lab to do is utilize the equipment that they already have. They already have a mill. They already have a printer. Um, with the copy denture, it's, it's allowing them to duplicate what the patient already has and use their equipment that 
they already use day to day to mill out crowns and, and fix work. So it's it's adding it's adding value to their services. It's also utilizing their equipment um, where maybe they had some downtime on a mill. Now they can throw in a denture um, and, and produce that restoration. So we do feel that the ease of use with the copy denture process, uh, the quick design steps to uh, get the, the STL files is, is easy for, for any lab to transition into these new materials and, and um, indications. With 3Shape introducing Dental Systems 2020 uh, in the immediate future, what are some of the main features and benefits that you think labs will, will be excited about? Yeah, a lot of great new features coming with the 2020 update. Um, the beta testers currently running through it. It's got great feedback. Um, some of the main points to 2020 are one integration with lab management softwares. So we do a big focus group meeting with some big lab partners every year, and this was definitely the the top of their list. So so we reached out to some of the popular lab management softwares and created an API to connect with them. So LabTrack, um, Genmar, Magic Touch, Vividental are the first four that we've integrated with. Uh, and the list goes on and on with the other companies to uh, get them integrated as well in the near future. When you say integration with these softwares, at the end of the day, what does this really mean to a dental laboratory? Yeah, what this really means at the end of the day is less data input, um, put the data in once, the information for the material for the restoration is in three shape. Um, when you get that trios file that comes in from a, a trios user, that gets synced with the lab management software and also into the dental system as well. This is something um, you know we're working with many lab management softwares, but as of right now, it's exclusive to three shape. We're the only CAD software that has this integration as well. Completely HIPAA compliant, secure, no no issues from outside. Yeah, nope. It's all it's all done within the lab. Um, uh, obviously, Trios case is coming through our Communicate portal, our HIPAA compliant, and this is just making a copy and uh, and placing everything in that lab management software. It seems like another feature of uh, Dental Systems 2020 is the access of the libraries and tutorials within the software. How do you imagine, you know, an actual user accessing those libraries or is it kind of a quick reference guide as they might be designing something? How do you envision that? Yeah, a little bit of both. Um, so we've always had our uh, user manual embedded into the three shape software. So if you're on a specific step and you did get a question, you click user manual and it would pop up within that chapter of, uh, of the design step that you're at. So we've taken it one step further and we've actually embedded the videos. So our tutorial videos, our how-to videos, we have over 130 lab videos on our YouTube site um, that we were able to embed into our dental system. So now a lab tech, either let's say a fixed lab new to full dentures um, or a lab new to digital altogether, are designing their first couple cases, they have some questions, there's no need to leave the three shape ecosystem. Uh, you would click on the video link and then you would see a tutorial video on how to design that step you're in or that indication. It's, you know, three shape is continuing to put out innovative solutions, but also the the resources to help a laboratory be successful. successful. It's exciting to, to know that you guys are behind the dental laboratories and really trying uh, to ensure that they're successful. Yeah, so we're, we're always trying to speed up the software, make the workflows easier for a user for day-to-day -day stuff. Um, another little update with 2020 is being able to um, default select your specific materials, flag a favorite material. So every time you're starting a case, that material is, your, is ahead of the list. Little things like that make it easier for your day-to-day -day technicians um, to, you know, just utilize the software more easily, fluidly, and um, and quickly.